Everything heavy when we step up You can't hang with a gang, you a fellow Yeah, everything check, come Stella Welcome, beautiful people. I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome, Wagwan. Make sure you are subscribed down below. Okay, guys, now for today's video, we'll be styling this unit from myfirstwig.com. And I want to show you guys what this wig is looking like straight out of the package. Now, first of all, this is a highlighted ombre blonde wig, and it is in 20 inches and 130% density. It is silky straight and I'm just living for the color most of all. Now the second most important thing about this wig is that it is pre-plucked, the knots are already bleached for you, and the wig is ready to wear straight out of the package. It also comes with the sewn on adjustable strap so you know to get that wig snug and fitted to your head if you wanna wear it glueless. Now I am living for the natural hair lining of this wig and so first things first for styling this wig i want to make sure that the parting is flat so i'm just going to take this wax to mold down the hair before i actually flat iron it now you can also get this wax on the website you can get the hair clips to hold on the wig you can get a bunch of other stuff on the website so i'm just going to go in with my hot comb and just comb that in to make sure that the parting stays flat it looks natural i get any bumps out of it so that you know it could have that natural free flowing flat look so i'm just going to continue to do that and the wax stick does help with that to help it to keep it molded keep the flyaways away without using too much product in the hair because remember this is blonde wig usually with blonde wigs you don't want to go overboard with what you do with it because it could get greasy looking and we ain't like that so i'm just going to go in with this tail comb to just make sure that my parsing is neat and then i go in once more with the edge wax to make sure that i don't have any fly away now the, the method that i'm using to let, lay and melt this wig i'm going to be using my got to be freezing spray and i'm focusing mostly on the front now i'm going to be using a lazy girl method for applying this wig because sometimes i don't feel like laying down the entire lace frontal sometimes if i'm doing a center part i focus mostly on the front because the hair is gonna fall forward anyway but now if you want that extra security if you're gonna wear the hair behind your ears yeah you want to focus on the side and everything in between but if the wig is a little bit not to fitting to your hair lining which you should like measure your head and check out the size on the website but if you're like me sometimes i miscalculate so like the sides are a little bit um ill-fitted but um sis you gotta finesse and work that wig so that is what i'm doing so i use a little bit of mousse to create some baby hairs on the side or some edges rather some soup to the dupe action now you ain't gotta do all of that but i like the soup to the dupe on the side of the wig you can just wear the wig straight back so it's whatever you want to do with your head top you do that okay but we're gonna go in with the soup to the dupe now for this hair i initially wanted to do like some loose waves in the hair and then i keep changing my mind like mm, i don't know if i like the loose waves so i'm just gonna go in and flat iron it but then i'm gonna take the flat iron later on and do like some carefree um trying to create like a loose curl but not really a curl like y'all know what i was going with like i didn't want it to just be boring clean straight down straight hair i wanted to do like a little bit of wave but nothing too uniform or defined so i'm just gonna keep playing around with the hair until i get the desired look that i'm going for Now we're almost done with the wig. So the next step is to make sure that your parting looks natural. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Concealer and just touch up the parting space on the wig and a little bit on the front. Like don't go too crazy. Like you don't wanna do nothing that's gonna make it look too, you know, too obvious. And I did a little bit of blue magic on the eyes cause I felt a little bit of extra with the jean jacket and whatnot. And that is basically it for this unit. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Dom That's Chef. And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Go on, be up on yourself. Bye, guys. Everything heavy when we step up.
can't hang with a gang, you a fellow Yeah, everything check, come Stella Let me 